look down like this where your cootie cat area is and say you ignorant tell her she's ignorant tell her she's stupid your cooter cat is asking about being abstinent and then you want me to go and talk to myself in that in that way talk to your private and tell her she's stupid for the decisions that she makes um hey um so my thing is i can't get past the year part like a year in a relationship everything's going well mm -hmm. and it just ends nine How times i'm 33 no kids okay when's the last relationship you were in it was a um long distance relationship when was the last relationship when when from december to like june okay you met him online yep okay i was nervous this <laughs> What's wrong, what's wrong with you? I don't know. It just is nerve. It's nerve wracking a little bit. You're nervous being up here talking to me. Um, just in general, the whole platform thing is a little. What, <laughs> but what's nervous about it? I just don't be going live and stuff like that. But it's it's cool. All right. All right. Well, we're here now, so let's figure this out. Because this is not only this is this might not only help. Usually, it doesn't help the woman that I'm talking to. Uh, just for you people to understand, the women that I'm talking to, the stuff that I say to her, it usually doesn't help the person. What it does is it helps people that are listening in the comments because they're usually listening better than the person I'm talking to. People I'm talking to, they're nervous and they're going through all kind of things, or they want to, they can't wait to try to clap back or whatever. So they're not really listening. The people in the comments are listening. Okay, so here's the thing you met a man online got into a long distance relationship to, with them and it only lasted six months how many times did y'all see each other um we flew twice and each time was a week like span i flew to see him he flew to see me you know did the whole surprise me for my birthday how many Would children you did you say you had zero you're 30 what three how many how many relationships have you been with in your lifetime okay um my like real ones probably like three how many intimate partners have you had i don't know no nah, every woman knows every woman don't know yeah yes yeah, she does i don't know probably like 10. Also, I think my career is um, kind of, you know, comes into play. I'm not here for a clout or anything like that, but um, I am a DJ. So sometimes I feel like that could be a little intimidating. You know, I exert a, a level of confidence that sometimes after a while, you know, okay, all let that. Me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Men don't see you as anything that's worth anything long term. That's what it is. I mean, you're, you're a short term fun girl, maybe to get how much do you weigh? Um, like 178. Okay. <laughs> so you got a big behind? Um, I'm pretty like fit. Okay. It looks like you have some big breasts. So they probably see your big old titties. I think this camera. So they probably um, see your big old titties, um, right? I'm it's, slim. You're not slim if you weigh 170. I'm very athletic. I run every morning at 6 a.m. That don't mean nothing. You're not slim if you weigh 170. Let me get back to what I was saying. It's a little slim. Are you six foot eleven? I'm five six. Okay, you're not slim at 170. Let me get back I to what I was Huh? I wear it well, but thank you. For the I understand. I think I could lose some weight too. See, this is the thing. Y'all like to go back and forth over something so trivial that I'm telling you, you're not slim. You're not slim in any world at 170. I agree with you. That's I funny. Because I'm agreeing. And you're saying that I don't agree. Okay. I want you to hear me very carefully. 
Men see you as a potential good time and that's it. Meaning, you're probably easy. Real easy. 33 years old and you've been with over 10 men, yeah. Well, I mean, I had a fun 20s. You know, funny, your 20s ain't, ain't hit, like. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it because, because you're gonna be living in the memories of your 20s probably for the rest of your life. Probably not. It's yeah, I'm telling you right now. You're not gonna be able to get. You think you're gonna be able to get a high value man? I've had high value men. No, you haven't. I have. You've been married or engaged to a high value man that was he was gonna no, marry. I've been engaged. Okay, so you, you haven't had no high value man. I've been engaged. I've been proposed to twice. So I mean, it's not. You, you know, haven't had a high value man. To get better. Let me tell you something. Women that have had high value men, right? Either they keep them, they hold uh, them, or mean, if they let them go, if they let those men go, they are very regretful of what they did and how they lost those men. Yeah. Trust me, they are. This is a high value man. I think he, he didn't was. want you. What's wrong? Am I your type? Yeah, you know what you are. Let me stand up. Let me see how you look. Let me see get a good look at you. I'm not standing up on social media. Like, Why not? I just, you do it on the back end? You do it on the back end? This feels weird. You can call me. I don't know, but I don't, I'm not getting up. Well, that's what you came up here for. You came up here to see if I was your type or if you were I my know, type. I just want to know Mr. High Value Man shit. Okay. What's your, what's your phone number? <laughs> not on this. Not on this. You said to call you. You told me to call you. I don't come on. Come on. So how do you want me to call you? Um, you know what? And how about you, man, would not be asking me for my number over like this? You know, he wouldn't even talk to me like that. Oh, really? Text me out if you want to. Mm. You know, okay. he would have so much respect for me. He would not even talk to me like that. Yeah, well, that should tell you a lot. <laughs> so at that point, there's no need The reason why. <laughs> I can't keep one is because it always seems to get to that point where they're possibly attracted to maybe someone else. And instead of me, like you said, being quiet and playing the role, I'm just kind of used to kind of have it my way or a man just showing me that he wants to be with me and only me. So the last man that I thought was a quality man, when it got to that point where it's like, somebody i got some competition which she was competition it's just that she was i'm 33 and she's like 60. but she looks better on paper <laughs> i get it i get it. i think even as a woman we want what we feel like is best um you had a you had a woman that was competing with you for a man and she was 60. Yeah, it was a long distance relationship she's a doctor no kids travel she was beautiful um, wait hold on he chose her over you I, after the breakup, we reconnected and he said, you know, he ended everything with her because he was only training her. <laughs> and, you, and he got back with you? Um, He tried, but I decided to not move forward. As we spoke last week, I've been so kind of thirsty to talk to you again <laughs> um, because honestly, I really do think you're attractive. Um, I don't know if this is the persona for, you know, your instagram and TikTok, but i just like it i just like it so i think women most women that are submissive like masculine dominant men i don't think you're a submissive woman that's the problem and why don't you think that aren't you a dj i am also work in tech so i do have a couple things going on no, I don't have children, da, da, da. but just to really answer your question, the main reason is because when it gets to that point where men, I think just human beings in general, just kind of start getting that wandering eye, um, I can't sit back and just let him choose. I kind of get nervous and you know, I get a little bit like, what's wrong and this and that, and I become probably over loving or over submissive how you know, many tattoos do you have you know i was gonna actually put on a jacket 
Should I put on a jacket? Am you know, I? I'm gonna. Ask, I'm asking you. How many tattoos do you have? Can't really count them because they're all kind of right here. Um, I I thought about getting them removed, but um, they were part of me. Now, I don't think this ever stopped me from attracting a high quality. You think a DJ with a bunch of tattoos is a feminine, submissive woman? Um, I think she can be. It is so many different spaces to DJ in. I'm not just always in a primary club, you know? And so the world is so big. I don't have to necessarily, you know, be in a club. Okay, you're still not giving me nothing that makes you this type of woman that I don't hear anything. Well, I wanted to answer you. I don't, I don't hear the feminine. Okay, so go ahead, answer the question. Why can't you keep a, a high quality man? I've answered it. Say it again. Okay. Um, when it gets to that point where we, you know, they might be attracted to someone else or something of that nature, I get a little smothering. Do you smother high quality men? Um, I just know some. I think, I mean, are you in a relationship and have been in a long distance relationship? Yes, I've been in a long distance relationship before. Or not even long distance, just in general, a uh, long term relationship. Yes, I've been in long term relationships and long distance. I've done it all. Yes. And are you currently in a relationship now? Why do you want to know? I feel like once when you get past that, like year mark, and um, I see some of the comments, and I can't agree that most men that I, when I go to high quality places, the women that I'm against typically don't have any tattoos. So they get to wear a lot more elegant dresses and so forth that looks a little more flattering on, um, you know, no tattoos on, on women. I do understand that that's what it is. I can't remove them, you guys. <laughs> Chill. I so can't. I actually did a live stream the other day on my YouTube channel and I broke all this down. Uh, the name of the live stream, it says, what makes a woman physically attractive to quality men? And I broke everything down about y'all. The reasons why we don't like certain hair certain the the tattoos the makeup the all of that stuff i said this is why i broke it all down okay so you should go watch that stream i will you know and i'm well aware um i am definitely well aware i don't think i'm going to go through the pain of getting them removed um it's just so many people it's not, it, it, it's, it's not listen you can't go into certain circles with all of that stuff with a high quality man. You can't. I agree. I understand that there's so kind of why would I take you on as a woman knowing that I can't bring you around certain circles? And I'm talking about circles where there's money. Especially if there's money involved, business deals to be made. I'm not taking a woman that's covered in tattoos. And I can respect that. That's your preference. It's not just my preference. I'm, what are you talking about? It's not just my preference. It's well, overall it's, general. What a it's about. generally what high quality, high quality men. This is what they have. As a matter of fact, I would ch I challenge y'all to next time you go to the grocery store, next time you go to Costco, any of these places, when you see a husband and wife together, I challenge you to look for wives walking with their husbands and they're covered in tattoos. I challenge you to find that. Right, which is why I said when I go into high quality places and so forth, I don't see them. And then when I talk to other women that has decided to level up their life, they get all their tattoos removed. Okay, so then you're not going to get one because you just said you're not going to go through the paint. So you're not going to get a high quality man. You got to settle for a low quality dick. I don't want to bring sex into this because I don't think it has nothing to do with that. Are you abstinent right now? I am. When's the last time you were intimate with a man? It's been a year. Be honest. I'm being honest with you. I have no what idea. month? What month? Why does it get to this? Even last time, this is not the, what it's about. It's oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. Because this has a lot to do to figure out. Because listen, a, a high quality woman can attract and keep a high quality man. 
When is the last time you were intimate with a man? It's been October of last year. Who was he? He was my ex-boyfriend of four years. Really? Yes. Ex-boyfriend of four years. Why didn't he marry you? Well, it's more so why I didn't want to get married to him. Oh, he proposed to you? I've been proposed, proposed to twice. I said Did he propose to you? Yeah, I don't propose to a okay. man. So you was willing to continue to have intercourse with a man, but you didn't want to marry him. Does that make any sense? Um, it doesn't, but I, I have my, my reasons. It was just Your reasons are because you're ignorant. You're ignorant. I'm talking to you. No, you're ignorant. That's why. And that was the okay. Thing. So we're not gonna blame you. So here's what I want you to do. Here's the exercise. Go, go like this. Look, look. Let me show you. Go like this. Look, look down like this, where your cootie cat area is, and say, "You ignorant." Tell her she's ignorant. Tell her she's stupid. Your cootie cat. He's asking about being abstinent, and then you want me to go and talk to myself in that in that way. Well, I want you. Yeah, I want you to look down there and tell her. Talk to her. Y'all talk to y'all thing. I'm very spiritual. I'm very. No, y'all talk to y'all private. No, let, let's be real. I've heard women do it before. Y'all talk to y'all private sometimes. So talk to your private and tell her she's stupid for the decisions that she makes. Talk to her. No, girl. I really admire you. I talk to her a lot. Okay. She's playing games, y'all. We're not gonna do this. It's over for so many of y'all. This is sad. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.